third time filming this video, but third time's a charm, am I right? Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a chatty video about some of my skincare favorites and what's really been working for me. And because this is a skincare routine slash favorites video, I figured that it was quite fitting to actually not wear any face makeup. So the only thing that is currently on my face is my Anastasia brow wiz and my eyebrows as well as a little bit of mascara to make me look just a little bit more awake for you guys. I really thought this was a good video to put up because A, I don't do a lot of beauty videos but at the same time um, I've really been trying to work on my skin as well as kind of get it to its goal which is to not have to wear any tinted moisturizer or anything like that. Um, I find myself a lot more confident when my skin is better too, so just like everything kind of works itself out. So I thought I would share just a few of those products today as well as a few new ones that I'm trying out and let you guys know what I think. So I have them all here, but the first thing I've been using is this Origins Checks and Balances uh, Skin Cleanser. I first tried this in a point perk and loved it, and then I ended up getting a full size of this. It is about $30 Canadian, which is a little bit expensive for a skin cleanser, but I'm really trying to invest in my skin so I don't have to buy more makeup and I can wear less of it. This is really good, apparently really good for all skin types as well. I've been seeing this kind of go around the beauty community, so I know it's probably a cult favorite by now, but it's just been really working for me. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I will have my old skincare routine in the description in the description box below, and that goes over all of my skin type and stuff like that, as well as the journey it went through. But today, as of right now, I would say my skin type is dry to normal. Next thing that I've been using is my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Sunscreen. So so good for you to wear sunscreen. Um, I wear this even when it's cold outside, even when it's cloudy. You will know that I'll be wearing sunscreen. It is part of my morning routine. I just think it's going to help me a lot in the long run. And so those are the two things that I use in the morning, just with my fingers. And then at night, I've actually been trying out the Foreo. If you watch my Vlogmas, I actually bought this for my mom, but I've been using it too. And the great thing is, is that it's silicone, so it's really, really hygienic. You don't have to buy a secondary like replacement brush head or anything. Um, I wash it with some hand soap after I use it, and I use it in combination with this Shuya Mira face oil. Now this is a little bit on the pricey side, but I find that it really works very, very well. Um, my face isn't dried out after, and because I have dry skin, I do need that extra moisture. So what I do is I just pump two pumps on the Foreo, and then if you can hear it, it buzzes, and it has a timed way to like make sure that you're getting every single um, like and everything and I find that the texture of this is really really good and keeps my skin really smooth again I've only been using this since Christmas so I'm not sure what it's going to feel like in the long run but overall I'm quite impressed with this combination and then a few other like extra random bits um, one thing that I actually bought a few days ago is this Mario Badescu um, facial spray so it's with aloe herbs and rose water and I I was, I saw this through Olivia Jade, I've just been absolutely obsessed with her videos and she said this is really hydrating and very refreshing and I just love the way that whole bit feels. Another thing that I've been working into my skincare routine isn't necessarily something I put on my skin but it definitely helps it overall and it is this prism brush bar. Now I was actually gift this from a fellow alumni and friend and it is a brush bar so it's a solid brush cleanser, it's all natural smells wonderful. This one smells like lavender, but I believe they have a lot of other like different types. So I used to use a liquid cleanser and I found that very, very inconvenient. It made my sink really messy. It stained my sink brown from my foundation then I have to wash my sink. It just became one really huge ordeal. Once I actually tried this, I was really, really amazed at how much more convenient it is. It's really good for travel, first of all, because it's not a liquid. And then secondly, it doesn't make like this huge splattery foundation mess all over your sink, which I love so, so much. So I have definitely converted to being like a solid brush cleanser kind of girl. This has been really good for my brushes. It's left my brushes in really good condition and everything. And it doesn't take them that long to get super, super clean. So I will link the details for the Prism Brush Bar in the bottom bar below, as well as all of my other beauty favorites. I almost forgot this. So there's two more beauty beauty slash skin routine favorites of mine and the, the second last one is Vaseline. Now I use this all the time. It's the only thing that was able to kind of calm down my eczema. It's hyperallergenic. It's wonderful. I have a big tub of this. I keep right beside my bed. 
I moisturize my lips with it. Usually around my dryers and my nails I put it on. It's just been really good. I elaborate more on this in my previous skincare routine, so you can definitely watch that if you want to learn more about the wonders of Vaseline. And then the last, and wow, I hate when I clap, but like the last thing that is definitely a skincare favorite of mine is just drinking water. Drinking water honestly has helped my skin so so much. It's just a lot more hydrated for, for obvious reasons as well as it also helped me lose weight and just in general as well as made my face look a lot less puffy if you notice through the years. Don't go back to my old videos but if you notice like through the years my face has just been getting less and less puffy and I really think that has to do with me being less dehydrated. So definitely start drinking water, get yourself a designated water bottle if you haven't already. Again, it does wonders for not only your skin but your body so I highly recommend it. And that is the end of my skincare favorites slash like a little bit of my skincare routine. Definitely thumbs up this video if you like these kind of sit down chatty casual like beauty videos. I want to do a few of these maybe a couple times a month so just let me know. The regular scheduled programming will come back soon and I'll be back at it with another styling video. If you guys need any more info on these products I will definitely be answering my comments below as well as putting everything in the description box as per always. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and without further ado, I am going to go, but I will talk to you guys soon.